My concept is the layers of the earth. And I'm going to start by reading The Magic School Bus, Inside the Earth by Joanna Cole. In Miss Frizzle's class, we had been learning about animals as homes for almost a month. We were pretty tired of it, so everyone was happy when Mrs. Frizzle announced, Today we start something new. We are going to study about our Earth, said Miss Frizzle. She puts us to work writing reports about Earth science, and for homework, she said, Each person must find a rock and bring it to school. But the next day, almost everyone had some excuse. Only four people had done the homework, and Phil was the only one who had found a real rock. I guess we'll have to go on a field trip and collect rocks, said Miss Frizzle. You never know what will happen on a trip with Miss Frizzle. Her new dress was a trip in itself. At first, the old school bus wouldn't start, but finally we were on our way. When we came to the field, all the kids wanted to get out of the bus, but suddenly the bus began to spin like a top. That sort of thing doesn't happen on most class trips. When the spinning finally stopped, some things had changed. We all had on new clothes, the bus had turned into a steam shovel, and there were shovels and picks for every kid in the class. Start digging, yelled Miss Frizzle, and we began making a huge hole right in the middle of the field. Before long, clunk, we hit rock. The Fritz handed out jackhammers. We began to break through the hard rock. Hey, these rocks have stripes, said a kid. Miss Frizzle explained that each stripe was a different kind of rock. Soil, sandstone, shale, limestone. We chipped off pieces of the rocks for our class rock collection. These rocks were called sedimentary rocks, class, said Miss Frizzle. They're often fossils found in sedimentary rocks. Wouldn't you know it, just when we were finding lots of fossils, Miss Frizzle said, back on the bus, kids. Then as we were driving along, we heard rock crumbling underneath us. Down we went. Everything was pitch black, and we were falling, falling, falling deeper into the earth. We landed with a bump. Miss Frizzle switched on the headlights. We had fallen through a hole into a huge limestone cave. Rainwater has been dripping down through the earth for ages, said Miss Frizzle. The water wore away this cave in the rock. We wanted to stay for a while, but suddenly the bus sprouted a drill. It started boring through the rock. Frizzy shouted, follow that bus, and down we went. The farther down we went, the hotter it got. The rocks were harder too. These are rocks that were changed from one kind to another kind by heat and pressure, explained the frizz. Rocks were changed. Rocks that were changed are called metamorphic rocks. So shale may become slate. We went down even farther toward the center of the earth. We hit rock that was formed billions of years ago from a pool of melted rock under the earth's surface. Rock like this is called igneous rock. We had dug all the way through the earth's crust. It was so hot now that Miss Frizzle told us to get back in the bus. She stepped on the gas and the bus started really drilling. Soon we were actually inside the earth. It was hot, hot, hot. And it got hotter and hotter as we zoomed toward the center. We started at the crust and moved to melted rock and into the mantle and into the outer core and then the inner core. And then right here it shows what each type of rock is in the different areas. We were glad when Miss Frizzle headed out again. We reached the earth's crust and drove straight up through a tunnel of black rock. It was great to see the sky. Then we looked around. We had come out on an island in the middle of the ocean. Isn't this wonderful, class, said Frizzy. We've driven right up on a volcanic island. It didn't look like much, but if Miss Frizzle was right, the whole island was one big volcano. We were nervous, but Miss Frizzle made us collect some rocks. She said they had all hardened from melted rock that had become out of the volcano. Then suddenly we heard rumblings from below. We scrambled into the bus. The Fritz turned the ignition key and stepped on the gas. Nothing happened. The bus would not start. We thought we were goners. Red hot lava came steaming out of the volcano. Some of it shot into the air like a fountain. Some of it flowed over the land like a river. Our bus went along with it right into the sea. When the red hot lava hit the water, it made a huge cloud of steam. All we could see was white. 
We seem to be rising with the steam and floating along. No one knows how long we floated in the cloud. But when it finally cleared, we were back in the school parking lot. It had been a weird trip, but we did get a great rock collection for our classroom. So that's the magic school bus inside the earth. And this is great because it also shares a lot of different um, vocabulary words for earth science that you can share with your class. And so then with my students, they would be able to create a hands-on model using cookie Play-Doh. And um, here's a picture. Well, here's an actual model that the students would create. And this is really neat. You can buy it. It's really expensive. It's actually called cookie Play-Doh. But there are recipes, which I got off allrecipes.com, that's really inexpensive. And um, your students get to learn the difference between a diagram and a model. And so they'll put these together to form each layer. So you'll start with the core, the inner core, the outer core, the mantle, and the crust. And once you're done, you can bring pre-baked cookies so that the students can actually break open a cookie and see the actual completed cookie. And then what I would do for with my students is a foldable of earth layers, which allows me to do an assessment of their understanding. And we would create a foldable, which you can get this one for free online. It and it um, covers the earth layer. So the first layer is the crust, and they get to see the different parts that make up the crust. And then also they can complete these parts, the thickness, the state of matter, and then any other things that they learn to go along with it, as well as the upper mantle, the middle mantle, and lower mantle is one part, um, which is the yellow part in here. And then they're able to do each part, the outer core, you know, understanding, show that they understand it's liquid, the inner core that they understand it's composed of metallic iron and it's a solid mass. And then also I would ask them to talk about each layer's heat. And so that's the end of my project. <laughs>